What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are actually going to start our testing with our Gen 3 Raptor. We're gonna have a private dyno day here. We're gonna spend a ton of time on the dyno uh, developing our 91 octane mapping, our toe mapping, um, but also we're gonna develop E50. We're gonna gather as much data as we can, then we're gonna start pushing maps out. We're hoping for Gen 2 numbers on ethanol um, and a little bit higher on pump gas. Hey, what's up guys? This is Winfield from Goose Tuned. So it's exciting. The Raptor Gen 3 is finally released. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna put the Raptor on the dyno. We're gonna have it on 91 octane, and then we're gonna put it on E50. And both of those sessions are gonna be custom tunes. Um, we're gonna see what the Cobb OTS map makes on 91 octane, and then I'm gonna tune it on 91 octane. And then we're gonna put E50 in the tank and see what it makes on E50. So let's go inside and see what it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna hop inside. We're gonna do some pulls on the OTS map and see what it makes and then we're gonna get right into the custom tuning. Again, like I said, it's got 91 octane in the tank right now, so we're gonna tune it on 91 first, and then hop over into E50. So shot under the hood, as you can see, it's still stage one. We've got the stock intercooler down here. A couple of videos ago, I mentioned the new IAG AOS, and that's this unit here. Super high quality, I love it. I'm gonna put it to the test. But yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna do now, so start the testing. All right guys, so far so good. The truck did great. Um, it looks like on 91 octane, it made 444 horsepower on my custom tune. Uh, that's 25 horsepower of the Cobb Stage 1 OTS map, which actually made 418, so that's really good. Uh, the stock truck made 382, so the Cobb map picks up a lot of power, and then we pick up another 20, 25 horsepower over that. So now we're gonna go ahead and throw some ethanol in it, blend it up to E50, and do some E50 tune. Not bad. So this made 500 horsepower and 581 foot-pounds of torque. So that's a huge gain over stock. Pretty happy with it. Keep in mind this is a stage one truck, so no modifications at all, just custom tuning. Um, the truck really likes E50, of course. Uh, power similar to Gen 2. What I'm most excited about is I can finally actually say this is a goose-tuned edition Gen 3, finally. So we will get the truck back on the dyno and we're going to put the stage two parts on, and once we get the stage two parts on, then we're going to go at it again. We're going to do the Cobb maps first, then we're going to do custom 91 tuning, and then we're going to do custom e E50 tuning. If it's anything like Gen 2, we'll see more power on the top end, and it'll be a lot more consistent. So, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, and please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. So, thank you guys. Really appreciate it. See you in the next one. All right, so we're out here on the road testing it here now. Um, the truck feels excellent. It feels really good. Uh, E50 ethanol always makes a big difference. Uh, the 91 octane tune felt really good as well. Um, we're gonna put more miles on this truck, of course. Um, we're gonna push it really, really hard to see what we can get away with, and then we're gonna start to release our tunes to the public. Um, so yeah, we're excited to, to finally get started in this Gen 3 platform. It's been a while, but it's been worth the wait. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this is the first 500 wheel horsepower Gen 3 out there. So that's also exciting. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be more, but this is good. So again, stay tuned. We appreciate all the support, guys, and thank you very much. Look forward to hearing from you. See you later.